Hello. Right, it's the end of the day. The debris is mounting. That's not mine, by the way. That's box infested with the moth. Um, so that needs to be burnt. Just to let you know, we've got holes everywhere. And we've got the beginnings of something better. So what we did today was we've planted. So there were some things that I was able to remove and dig up and we've managed to get a few in so all I've got left are my beautiful plants from my old garden that require shade. The shade area I'll show you in a second isn't ready so I've got my lovely Philadelphus and this is Philadelphus Innocence very rarely seen now pretty sure that I'm the only one that takes cuttings and grows it. Now you can see my beautiful tree peony has suffered, but look, I do have living growth. It has returned. I've got buds, so I will be removing the canes, the growth that hasn't come back. That's not coming back, you can see. So, everything's beginning to flower and return. just not necessarily in the right order um, I'm so saving this this is my oak leaf hydrangea hydrangea quercifolia beautiful old plant I've had him 20 years and he's coping in a pot but he's going to be requiring planting um, just look at that beautiful flomis Flomis tuberosa. Isn't it pretty? You put that with a beautiful hawthorn. Um, and this is my other tree peony. I've got lots of growth from the base, not as much from the top, but you can see I've had um, this is like a bud blast where the bud hasn't come out due to the fact that it's been in full sun and that's another one gone it's been in full sun and um, she's not in the right position so she has flowered I got two or three flowers from her so I'm quite happy now what I'm showing you is from this morning so can't afford to renovate the old barn so I've got some beautiful lovely hardwood poles in and they're going to be covered in trellis and then I'm thinking here is going to be perfect for stock that requires a little bit of shade because I've got my monster of a hawthorn the wild rose that was in it, it is dying off now so that's going to be removed um, obviously the trees if they are neglected are deteriorating I don't know if you can quite see there's an old branch that's gone there um, this is my little group of three oaks in full leaf now doesn't look strange not so much of a an odd shape 
I'm coping really well now I've um, pruned the hawthorn away from it. And this, if you look, is pure white and pink. So that's very pretty. Now, here is the first of my offerings. I've planted on the walk up from the car park. We have comfrey. I'm going to kind of call this Thug's Alley because I can't compete with the pasture. It's going to keep coming. It's going to keep coming back. And obviously you can see I have a background of completely natural habitat. So I'm really mixing more than ever the possibility of garden plants and gardening with and alongside a very natural situation. So I thought comfrey goes completely mad and romps everywhere uncontrolled so this is a really big comfrey that I dug up from my old garden and I've got that in. I've got my elder thundercloud which is my offering for the elder collection that I grow from cuttings. I have something I haven't got on the website I don't think or if I have I, I never show stock because they're so precious. This is Elder Laciniata. This is the cut leafed Elder. So obviously if you look at the leaf this is where they got black lace from. Um, but unlike black lace this is a lot more robust so this is going to be my stock plant it will develop into a tree and this is where I'm going to get my cuttings from and then I am delighted to introduce to you my little walnut tree now somebody I don't know it just appeared in a pot I think it might have been a customer just gave it to me but look it's a, it's a walnut tree so this is going to be absolutely enormous not really suitable for a garden the average garden here at Valley View it's got endless opportunities to grow and develop hugely. So following up we've planted my signature plant, my beloved Telechia. And that's the great big fat yellow daisies with this beautiful soft leaf. Very, very feathery underneath, very soft and chunky. And I hope he settles because I need to take babies from him and seed. I have kind of missed the window of uh, spring planting, but you know, this is just how life seems to work. So I'm not thinking it's missed opportunities. I'm thinking I need to work with what I've got available to me. So this, haven't got my magnolia collection. Obviously I had Daphne, Susan, magnolia, grandiflora and magnolia soulangiana. Um, all I've got with me now is a magnolia soulangiana and she's not looking hugely healthy but i'm hoping that when you park in the car park you can see a lovely magnolia remembering that they're beetle pollinated now this is my beautifully stable variegated elder from my collection 
just about to flower so let's hope that this settles and develops and then I've got my beloved cardoon dug him up last October and here he is settling back down at Valley View now car park I've got a lovely crab apple a very young natural crab apple which is Malus sylvestris and yes you can see the background you can see what I'm wor what I'm working with here <laughs> Um, so the car park, if I just step back here and show you. So the car park, I've covered in buddleia. They're really little, but again, I need them to be developed so that I can take cuttings.